stand here with my partners in public safety in Los Angeles. It doesn't look like my usual public safety press conference, does it? It's not. We are too violent a society. Violence begets violence. It is time to put down our arms and start the dialogue. I never knew when I walked out of my door that I would run into Chief Beck or Mayor Garcetti or be in front of all these cameras today. But one thing that I did know is that I didn't leave out of my house this morning with malice in my heart, with hate in my heart, or with anger towards anyone, police officer or not. I know for a fact growing up here in Los Angeles, in this city for the last 36 years of my life, that this is a city, a beautiful city, a city that can be one, that was one, and that can get back to being one. We all have children who we love. We all have families who we love. We all are children who are loved. And I think that without delegating something needs to be done for African Americans or something needs to be done for Latinos or something needs to be done for Caucasians or Asians or any other races that exist in this city, I think that we need to take responsibility as a human race and accept the role as peace givers and people that distribute love and change throughout this city. And I know for a fact, and history will reflect, that Los Angeles has been the flagship for negativity or positivity and that the rest of the world and the rest of the cities and communities and states in America will follow suit with whatever Los Angeles is doing. I love you, no matter what race you're from, no matter where you come from, no matter what gang you're from or what police force you stand for, what badge you put on, what school you teach, whoever you are in the world, if you are a human, be- a human being and you have ears and eyes to see, this is a day of change. Respect it, understand it, love it, embrace yourself for positivity. First of all, I want to um, thank the mayor and the chief for allowing us to even come behind closed doors to hold a conversation with them. Our whole mission today was to move in peace and to show that L.A. can be unified and not to bash the police, but to come up here and get some dialogue and some communication because we're all angels, like he said. We're all from Los Angeles. We all represent the same cause, and we all want to go home to our families. So today was the first step to many steps. We are here to show love and support to the police force in Los Angeles and get some understanding and some communication. And we feel like this is a great start. We want to thank them for letting us come into this situation today. We didn't know that we were going to be graduating students, but this is even better because now these students that are about to hit the streets can know that there is some sort of dialogue going on. And they don't have to be fearful, and they can do their jobs and know that when you stop somebody, you're a conversation away from sending them home or taking them to jail, but the conversation is key. So thank y'all for allowing us to have conversation, and we love y'all. Appreciate it. All right, uh, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and salutations and blessings unto the elect. Um, you know, you can see in this clip, in this video, you had Snoop and Gang you know, two supposedly gangster rappers, right? And they uh, they have a press conference with the LAPD, you know, waving the white flag, trying to speak peace. You know, they want the, the uh, come together with the pigs and, you know, uh, bring all this love and, you know, um, you know, basically uh, fantasy shit. Because we all know that's not what's gonna happen. All right, that's not reality. All right, these these jakes, these celebrities, they're bought and paid for. All right, they're they're waving the peace flag because they 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 pretty much are we're in the uh they're in a boat that if you don't speak anything, <laughs> you 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 gonna sink. So they got to come out and say something to protect their image to make their fans see that. You know, uh, they're out there doing something about it. They're out there um, trying to make a difference, so to speak. But Game and Snoop, you know, they're 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 destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You know, 
if they understood the purpose of the Heavenly Father, then they would know that coming together for a press conference with, with, with devils is not going to make no difference. It's not going to make no change. Okay. This man was created to be the devil. I mean, he was created to be the wicked. All right. But coming together with your enemies, Esau never, he, he doesn't speak that language. Peace is not in the white man's language, man. All right. He doesn't understand that. You got to speak to him the way he understands it. All right. This is an aggressive, violent devil. Okay. Now, what you niggas don't realize is these cops are, 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 are pretty much um they're they're demons and their whole goal is to fulfill the interests of the elites that they're working for all right and you negroes y'all just uh you're your slaves that they're sent to oppress and keep in line keep in check okay if you if you wander out of um you know uh law so to speak if you 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 um you're you you're not uh, complying with the ways of society you know um coming coming against their new world order then they they gotta discipline you they they gotta they gotta send that sword out man and make an example out of you for the rest of the slaves the rest of the cattle man and you two niggas y'all just y'all bought and paid for it man y'all gotta protect y'all money and y'all image because one on one end you niggas are uh all your all your music is about you know uh perpetuating that gang life you know you niggas are married with children and you got money but your your your, your albums are still filled with the same shit niggas do in the hood killing each other selling each other dr drugs or boasting of, of, of whatever riches you got against the next jake you don't wave that peace flag in your music but when these devils come out and they bring that sword upon your ass, then that's when you want to wave that white flag. Now you want to be peaceful. All right, well, I got news flash for you niggas, man. Let me get the scripture on that. Isaiah uh, 48 and 22. There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. All right, you trying to uh, send, uh, come in the name of peace, you know, nonviolence, you know, Love in your heart, so to speak. Y'all love is, is 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 your own perception, man. The the true love, according to the Bible, is the keeping the commandments, man. All right, you niggas, y'all don't know that y'all don't y'all don't uh, believe in the scripture. Y'all don't believe the Most High. You niggas sold your soul a long time ago. So you're yelling that peace flag. You want everybody to come together so everybody can uh, harmonize and 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 you know be still be wicked here in Babylon together, man. You still prom you ain't promoting peace among your own community, uh, your own neighborhoods, or the neighborhoods that you come from, I should say. You know, but you see Jake's getting uh, gutted down by the enemy, and now you want to come out. It's because you niggas are afraid, man. But guess what? The Lord is putting that fear in you niggas, man, and the Lord's gonna stir this thing up. All right. Y'all don't realize, man, this, this man is, is, is a whooping stick for the Heavenly Father, man. You get Psalm 17 and 12. Psalms 17 and 12. Uh, verse 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. All right. And that's a song from King David, man. All right. Instead of coming out and talking to this devil, we supposed to be praying to the most high to deliver us from the from the sword, man. Because guess guess what? Esau was blessed with the sword and that's what he lives by. All right. He's he, a man with the sword that, that that's not reasonable. He doesn't understand anything but violent. He's a violent man. You can't speak peace to a man that's holding a sword, man. He he's ready to, to devour. All right. He 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 wants your blood. You know. Um, let me go from there to uh, Revelation six. Uh. 
Revelation 6 and 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red. All right, who, what, 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 what is this uh, referring to? Well, when you break it down um, through, through the scriptures, um, red, this, this red horse is talking about Esau, the, the Edomites, which is the so-called white man. All right. He came out red all over like a hairy garment. His name was changed from Esau to Edom, which in the Hebrew word is Adawam, which means red. Okay, so that's who this is referring to in prophecy, all right? But this is in parabolic form, in, in revelation, all right? And it says, and power was given to him that set thereon to take peace from the earth. All right, so the Lord actually gave him the power to take the peace from the earth. And you nigga, here you niggas are trying to seek peace from this devil. That you, you're not going to get peace from this devil. There ain't no peace unto the wicked, man. But you're trying to join yourselves with these devils. You, you niggas going to die with this devil, man. You know? You want to you tuck your tails for this devil, but to each other, you have no, you have no, no uh, problems uh, pr promoting that, that hate and, and uh, that, that violence to your own. You know? Glorifying gangs, uh, uh, shooting and killing each other, man. You niggas are best at doing that, but when it comes to this devil, uh, we uh, let's, let's hey, we got to come out. We got to love one another. You know, we got to be peaceful. Well, why why you don't uh, bring that same tune when it comes to to niggas killing each other, man? And I ain't just specifically targeting snooping game. I'm talking about all you niggas, man. You know, it says, and power was given to him that said thereon to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. All right. That's, that's Esau. All right. He was given the, he was blessed with the gun. All right. That's why um, the, the police are militarized. That's why the military got all these different special weapons hell they even bombing niggas now man all right that's so supposed uh uh jake that that was the alleged shooter at, at in dallas they said they bombed that nigga all right so that that's 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 signs of a <laughs> a group of people that got a group they blessed with a great sword man they can they can just bomb you, man. They can they can they can detonate your 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 where you lay with, with explosives and kill you like that, man. They got robots. And you and you want to speak peace with this man? This man wanna use them toys on you niggas, man. He wanna use those, he wanna exercise, he wanna see what what, what these toys can do. He put so much money into them. Why not use them on, on, on his enemies? But y'all y'all gonna realize, man. You jakes, y'all gonna realize, man. This man, he's not gonna turn down for you niggas, man. He wants your blood, man. It's war. It's all out war, man. And this is all prophecy, because the Lord is 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 bringing that last battle between Jacob and Esau. All right, the Lord wanna see these two go to toe, toe to toe. All right. So we're going to be fighting. And then our Lord, who you only call Jesus Christ, is going to come back and he's going to finish that fight for us. Along with the angels. So ain't no peace unto the wicked, man. Ain't no peace. Destruction. Whoa. All right. That's what's coming. All right. And, and like I said, uh, the, the brother um, Jim S. Watchman, I think that's a, a brother from Jamaica, when he posted uh, Judah, uh, Judah mourning from the gates thereof language, that represents your leaders, and um, they're, they're pretty much are, are weak, all right? You know, uh, got, uh, you know, men of renown of the nation of Israel, you know, you got celebrities and you got men that, that have influence over Jake. You know, they so they have a voice, so to speak, in, in within the community of, of Jake. They they're weak. 
you know they want to tell you negroes hey man let's let's just get together with the with our enemies man and let's try to hold hands with them you know let's 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 try to be peaceful about it and you know try to try to soothe you niggas down man when you when you know you got pent up anger and rage within you because you're getting tired of this bullshit but you got niggas like like these niggas coming out and telling you, hey, let's 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 have love in our hearts, uh, you know. Knowing damn well on their next album that come out, they're gonna be going right back to speaking, you know, I'm from I'm come from the hood, whoop de whoop, you know, I'll bust my gun, I'll send the goons out, you know. Same old shit, man. It says the leaders of my people caused them to err, man. That we ain't in a time of peace right now. All right, this is wartime. All right. Um, Proverbs 11 and 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. All right. So y'all could join hands with the police and think that you're uh, making a change, you know, your attempt to try to change things. And y'all y'all know damn well, especially LAPD, man. If you from LA, you from Compton, Long Beach, Watts, you know how the LAPD get down, all right? There's always been peace talks with them. They ain't never um, stood to their word, man. They still gonna be shooting you niggas down, all right? So you could join your, you could join hand with these devils, but guess what? They still gonna go unpunished. All right. More Jake is gonna be rising up against the police and killing these police, and vice versa. This is gonna continue, and it's gonna get worse and worse because we're getting closer and closer to the end. All right. The Lord is who's mustering up that spirit. Okay. The wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. And that seed of the righteous is talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? Lord willing, we be of the elect. We're going to be delivered from the hand of our enemies, the sword. All right? So that's it on that. I'm going to close out. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, devil honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and salutations and blessings unto the elect. With that, shall we walk.